take notes now. If you ain't doing something right, you better get something right. <laughs> then you can work on other stuff later, I guess, if you had the opportunity. <laughs> but you got to get something right off the bat. I might be holding classes, might be doing some teaching. Give me some galoshes So I'm, we're going to squish, squish, squish
just the underground hit moving things a local brother made good i made a name off of making taste for homies in the hood and now let me tell a little story about the places that i've been to and the things that i've been through like fighting and shootouts and banging and trip all because i came out with a hit check it 1991 while everybody else was smoking a split i was thinking of the funky hits about hoochies and players they're getting drunk and off that bud i was doing things they hadn't heard of but foolish was odd to think that it wasn't no other cities like this and they didn't like this that Compton was the home of the gangster class where you got blasts and now that's just a thing of the past let me tell you why firsthand we did a show up in oakland and brothers was kicking up sand to them banging ain't nothing new and slanging ain't nothing new and for every sucker we the shot they the shot too straight through a low sister 60s before i was born families of hard heads mourn so i'm just letting you know that if you plan to take a trip to the bay keep your hand on your clip because oakland <laughs> it's just like compton yeah i'm telling y'all oakland <laughs> it's just like compton Moving on to St. Louis, where they think they be bumping with gold teeth in their mouth, but they still know what's up. In the summer, it's kinda hot, hot enough to make you cuss, and that's why I stayed on the bus. But later on, when it cooled off, we came down and made a couple of friends who put us up on the St. Louis cap, the Smith Center, with Big Bob, Little Steve, Toe, Joe, Vince, and Rich, and a couple of hoochies. Then they took us to a man named Gus, in his store, he put me down with a herringbone and shoes galore. That's when I started thinking that this wasn't like home, but then they had to prove me wrong. Cause later that night, after we did the show, we went back to the after set. And wouldn't you know, yeah, Bloods and Crips start scrapping and shooting in Missouri. Damn, how could this happen? Now St. Louis. <laughs> it's just like Compton. Yeah, y'all, St. Louis. <laughs> we made it just like Compton. I don't think they know that you crazy for their own good. They need to stop watching that colors. And boys in the hood, too busy claiming 60s, trying to be raw and never even seen the shark. But now back to the story that I'm telling. We packed up the tour bus one more time and started bailing. When we arrived, I saw red and blue sweatsuits when I'm thinking about horse duty and cowboy boots. I guess Texas ain't no different from the rest. And San Antonio was just waiting to put us to the test. And before it was over, the show got deep. A fool got shot in the face. And was dead in the street Then they came in the club thinking of scrapping Little did they know that we was packing Yeah, we 